everybody, welcome to Dream Divided. And yeah, this is me, Frederick. I know Emil's not here. But I'm doing a special episode, three part episode series, special, where I will show you a little bit of my collection that I have managed to, yeah, to have or to gather during my years of drinking whiskey so far. Um, there will be only whiskey from three countries this time. I have done on my other channel, Dream Divided. So I would not do any Scotch, Indian, Japanese, for example, but I will do Irish, Swedish, and American, because those are basically the only ones that have been anything special happened. There have been new bottles coming in. I've not really bought that many Scotch whiskeys lately. So, so anyway, uh, let's get to this. So my first bottle I want to show. Is this one? I have Mercury Stag Junior, sixty-six point oh five percent, or one hundred thirty-two point one proof. It's good. It's way too sweet though, and way too overpriced and overhyped in my opinion. I do have another one of those sought after, I guess. It's where Booker's. Uh, this is a batch number two thousand fifteen oh two. I have this for quite some time. Yeah. It's strong the alcohol, it's like 63.7. It's okay, but I mean, these are just overpriced these days, unfortunately. Another one I do have is this one. Ooh, Eagle Rare. Right. With an H statement, I think, back there. So, I don't know if it still has it or not. It's okay, bourbon, I would say. I would say it's okay, bourbon. Uh, another one I do have, which I do like, but it's way overpriced. Colonel E.H. Taylor, small batch, bottle and bond, 50% ABV. This is nice. I will say this. This is really nice, but way overpriced. In my opinion. Anyway, uh, another bourbon we're going to get into is this one. Rocktown, Arkansas, single barrel sir, bourbon whiskey, cost range. Uh, barrel number 120, bottle 93 of 222. This is really good. I haven't drinking that much from it because it's so good. I really want to savor it. I can't get it anymore. So, yeah, that's why. I also have another, let's see here, Rocktown, Arkansas that I'm not that impressed by. But I think it's a cool thing, though. Uh, Hickory Smoked Whiskey. Yeah. But it's me. Fortunately. Then well, let's get into some rye whiskeys. I have this one, straight try to kill whiskey, a rye wheat hybrid burden by Dry Flame. This is good. I haven't drink that much though, I do have to say. But it's nice, it's nice. 44% ABV. And uh, another rye that is super collectible, I guess. And very sought after, and some people pay way too much for it. I paid less than 50 euros for this one, because I found it in a bargain. Pikes will straight rye whiskey, 110 proof or 55% ABV or something like that, I think. It's nice, but I mean, they were asking way too much for this, in my opinion. Like most American whiskeys, because they're not supposed to be expensive, they're supposed to be cheap, because they're made of she cheap products, even though there are someone that's going to debate me on that. Hey, but anyway, now I'm just going to pause and I'm going to get into my other part of my American whiskey collection. So yeah, let's get into my favorite... American whiskey brand so far. I've not tried everything. I'm not gonna get my hands on everything, but this is a brand or this they I really like and as you seen something there, let's see. Let's see. Eh. That was there. Disappeared a little bit up there as well. <laughs> so yeah. We're out in there, I guess. Balconis. So this is Balconis Dawn, it's a Madeira cask uh, finished Texas single malt. Fucking amazing. Just want to point it out. Fucking amazing. Uh, next one I have is a Texas Balcones uh, single malt finished in their own rum cask. It's a little bit sweet. I'm not sure if I like this one more than the standard single malt, but it's good still. It's still good, in my opinion. Then we have Balcones Texas Pot Steel Bourbon. I know a lot of people don't like that who drinks bourbon, apparently. I do like it, but hey, I do know a lot of Americans do not like this. Also, for some reason, or Balcones for some reason. I mean, we are different. We're all right to be so as well. Uh, Texas Rye, 100 proof. 
But it's okay. I mean, I do like it. It's okay. Will I buy it again? Probably not. But still, I do like it. Um, let's see here. Baby Blue. Not my favorite, I would say. But still, if you want to try something different, maybe Blue Corn. Definitely go. It is different. I just want to point it out. Um, here we have my only independent bottling of Balcones, and that is from the that boutique E whiskey company, or as it says here, that boutique E malt company, apparently. So this is a um, two-year-old malt whiskey, matured in our rust casks, and have some cool label there with some rock and roll Pantera style. Yeah, forty-seven point eight percent. This is batch two, no oh, batch three. It's really good. Look at that color. It's really good. I say all is good. Uh, of course, a big favorite from Balcones. Balcones, Texas Sig Malt, number one. Yeah, three percent. This is a classic, in my opinion. Highly good Sig Malt from America or Texas, in my opinion. Fucking amazing. Another one <coughs> is uh, the True Blue Cost Range. 65.7% baby. It's okay, I do have to say I do prefer the standard true blue, in my opinion. But still it's good. And of course true blue. The standard one. I love this. I think this is amazing, in my opinion. I think this is really good. I know some people don't like it, but hey, that's how we are. We're all different. And yeah. So any thoughts about American whiskies? Like I said before, I think they're are getting too overpriced for what they are, in my opinion. Um, like most whiskeys from every country in the world, you might not get everything. I see a lot of YouTube channels with bourbon that have some really cool bourbons there, but we're not gonna, gonna get them, and neither are they, because the bourbon craze is so crazy and maybe toxic, who knows, as well. It's like with Spring Bank or everything, you know, something gets released, everyone needs to get it, right? So, this is part one of part three. Next one will be Swedish whiskies. So stay tuned, people. Stay tuned. Okay. Bye.